Hey guys, in this video we're just going to do some simple animation just to prepare us for the snake game project in this chapter. Alright, so in the last video I showed you how to do shapes, uh, shapes, text, and lines. Alright, so now we're going to do some simple animation. If we look at the final um, web page, basically we just have a canvas that we painted black and then we're having we're going to make some circles and have them do some very simple animation across the X and Y axis. Alright, so first things first, let's create a new document. And new document. Okay, and we're just going to call this canvas2.html. And I'm going to open that with Notepad++, paste in our standard structure. And we're basically going to do the same kind of thing here. Uh, we're going to have, actually let's create our canvas first. So canvas, and we'll give this an ID of my canvas. And we'll set a width of 600. Whoop, we have to use equals here. Whoop, 600 and then a height of 400. And that's good. All right, so again, if, if someone doesn't have a browser that enables Canvas or allows Canvas, we'll just give them a paragraph. So now what we want to do is let's add just some style tags so we can see the border of the canvas. All right, let's check it out. Uh, whoops, that's that's the finished one. Alright, so there's our canvas. Now let's create our initializer. So we want script tags and we want a function. Actually first let's no that's that's good. Let's do the function. And that's gonna be called init. Alright, and then in here we're gonna set Actually, above the, the function, we're going to create our variables. So, variable C and variable CTX. And then in here, we'll set those. C is going to equal document dot get element by ID. And the ID is my canvas. And then, of course, we need our context variable. And we want to pass in 2D. All right, so that sets that up. And then we just want to call draw. Well, if I can spell it. And then on the body, let's just add that on load. Let's say on load. We're going to run init. All right, so the main part of this script is going to be this draw function. Now what we want to do here is we want to create two variables. One is going to be for the x position and one for the y position. All right, so we're going to say variable uh, position x is going to be equal to zero. Position y also equal to zero. All right, and then we want to run this set interval function. OK, 
Okay, so we're going to say set interval. And basically that's going to take a callback function or a self calling function. And then in there is where we can put what we want to happen um, after every interval, kind of like a loop. All right, so the first thing we want to do is have these positions uh, increment, and we're going to increment them by one. So position x is going to be incremented by one, and position y, same thing. And oh, one thing I did forget is this set interval takes two parameters. Okay, so we have the callback, the function that we want to run uh, is the first parameter, and then after that, we want a comma, and we want the speed at which uh, these intervals should go. So basically, how fast the animation should be. Uh, so I'm going to do just 30 milliseconds for now. So basically, anything we put in here is going to run every 30 milliseconds. Now before we go into showing how to make circles and all that, uh, I just want to show you just a very basic animation uh, using what we already know. All right, So we know how to draw a rectangle. So let's make a rectangle animate across the screen, across the canvas. All right, So let's just uh, say ctx.fillstyle. Okay, we know that that is just to fill the color of the rectangle. And then ctx. Uh, fill rect, which is going to basically draw the rectangle for us. Okay, so here we did uh, earlier we did 0, 0, which is uh, x and y axis, and then the size of the, of the rectangle, we'll do 50 by 50. Alright, so this isn't going to do anything because it's going to draw the rectangle in the same place every loop or every interval. So what we need to do is make this dynamic. We want to change the x-axis to be position x, which is going to be incremented every interval. All right, so that means it's going to be in a different position every interval. Okay, so that's going to bring us animation because it's going to change uh, with every loop that it does. So if we save that, now you can see our rectangle is going across, uh, but obviously something's wrong here. All right, so basically it's keeping the, um, everything that it draws is just staying there. What we want to do is every iteration we want to clear it so that it continues so it just stays as one square and goes across the screen. All right, and that's really easy to do. All we need to do is up here is do ctx dot clear rect. All right, and then for parameters, we want the entire thing. So we'll start at 0, 0. Okay, so that's the x and y. And then we want to do the entire width and the entire width and the entire height of the canvas, which we can get with c dot width and c dot height. And that c is coming from here. All right, so let's save that and reload. Now our square is staying intact and moving across the screen. And we can change the speed. Let's say we want to change this to 300. Okay, if we save that. Now it's going to go really, really slow. All right, and let's change this to, let's say, 5. And then it goes faster. All right, so very basic. Uh, but what I want to do is not only do I want to show you animation, but I want to show you how to make a circle because it's um, quite different than making a rectangle. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, but the as far as the animation, it's going to be pretty much the same, uh, except we're going to have a couple different circles, and some will go up and some will go um, sideways. All right, uh, actually, I want that back what we just had because what I want to do is I want to have I want to make the entire width and height of the um, of the canvas black alright so I'm just gonna change this alright and that's pretty much all we need we don't need the clear and then here we want zero we don't want this 
we don't want the rectangle to animate we just want it kind of as a background alright so I'm going to keep that and now we can start to build our circles alright so fill style is the same I'm going to say CTX fill style and this one um, we're going to set to white actually I'll just use the words just for simplicity alright so fill style white now when we're doing a circle we need to um, we need to set, we need to create where we want the path to begin alright so we need to say ctx dot begin path alright and then we can go ahead and create the circle and we're going to do that with ctx dot arc okay and this arc this takes a few parameters uh, since this is going to be animated we want to set the x position as our variable okay so position x uh, and for the y position I'm not going to set it at 0 I'm going to set it at 120 because I want the circle to be in view to be somewhat in view when it starts alright so I don't want a blank canvas and then have the circles pop into view I want them already uh, partly in view alright so that's why I'm setting it to 120 um, the next parameter is going to be the radius of the circle alright so for this I'm going to set it to 55 and the next two parameters are a little bit complicated to understand but basically uh, we're going to have the starting angle um, in radians and then the ending angle will be the next parameter so we're going to start it at zero alright so that's going to be the start angle and then to calculate what we need here we're going to use math we use the math object I'm going to say uh, get the math dot pi and then we're going to multiply that by two alright and that basically will give us the circumference that we need um, for our circle and then we just want to call the fill function or method and we can do that uh, with ctx dot fill alright and that should give us one circle one white circle um, that will pretty much animate uh, across the screen so let's save this and something's not right here oh we didn't we set this the background the rectangle to 50 50 we want that to the whole width and the whole height so this should be c dot width and then c dot height all right let's try that all right so there's our circle you can see when it starts part of it's showing and that's because of the 120 all right the 120 on the x-axis all right so it just travels across the screen nothing too special um, let's just create a couple more all right so basically we can just copy what we have here and let's just create two more all right so for the second one let's make it red all right so we'll make that red and then um, let's see let's make it 150 so 150 pixels of it will show um, actually wait a minute you know what I want to do is replace this this position X with a solid with a static number 150 and then this, the Y axis variable I want to set to position Y and what that'll do is make it come from the top down alright and then let's make this a little bit bigger let's say 78 uh, the rest can stay the same and then this circle let's make it blue and we'll have this going we'll have this going down as well so let's trade this in trade this in <laughs> let's change this to 350 and this will be the position y variable and change the size to 38 okay 
All right, so there's our circles. All right, and if we change the speed, let's say we want to change this to five or four, and it goes much faster. All right, so that's very simple animation. Um, now we'll start our our project, our chapter project, which will be a snake game.